Now let's talk about the HTTP classes here. So whenever we'll be doing some web, web interaction, wherein wherein we'll be what we'll be doing is we'll be having a client. So the client which we'll be having is a device will be acting as a client, and then we'll be having a server request. So what we do is we'll be using the H, we'll be creating the HTTP client object, all right, and we'll be what we'll be doing is we'll be creating those. HTTP clients to execute the HTTP requests. So it's like the hypertext transfer protocol request will be doing them. We'll be getting the HTTP get, get method which will be retrieving the information defined by the requested URI that is the uniform resource identifier. And then we'll be saving it up in an HTTP response object. So let's, I think it will be more clear to you when we'll be doing a working copy of it. For now you can just take a look at this code snippet here which says whenever I'll be creating an HTTP client, I'll be creating it like this, I'll be creating the default HTTP client, then I'll be passing in a URI which is the uniform resource identifier to this and here I can pass in the URL that I have. So if I want to get all the all the HTML content that is present on the website edureka.in, so what I'll be doing is I'll be using this, this particular URL to give me all the data. All right. Then what I'll be doing is I'll be creating the request which will be the new HTTP GET request. So I'll be getting this objects here. That's correct. We will we are creating the object in the first line here. Set this particular URI which we have just created and get the response. All right. So we'll be getting the response after this complete execution. So let's take an example for this. So here what I have done is I have created an HTTP sample class here. So here I have created a text view. If I go on to the main window here, activity main, here you can see I have got a graphical representation. If I say, see, if you see here, I have a text view which says loading data. 